fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, all. Well, on a cold, horrible day like I've got outside today, what better to do than maybe another review? <laughs> yes, thanks to OMP and Model Flight, I'm again able to bring to you a first. So, let's see what we've got. Aha! The Ultra Micro Extreme SBAC 342 from E Flight. Well, here she is. Same usual box that you're always used to. Let's get this thing open and see what's inside, eh? Ho, ho, ho. The usual gear by the looks of it, we've got the plane, the battery, the charger. I'll get all this stuff out of the box and we'll have a look at it. Okay, before we open the box, just a word of warning. The SBAC 342 is not a plane for a novice. You will have at least need to have been able to fly the Park Zone XP Sukhoi. If you can fly this really well, without crashing, bring her down, up, then you're ready for the next step up. But until you can fly one of these really well, I wouldn't buy the SBAC. Heartache will come, believe me. Okay, once you have learned to master that, you can move up to the next step, which was bought out last year by eFlight. The first of the brushless planes. Now, the beast was a beauty. It was the first brushless motor. It's got a 2S battery and it flies really well. For those that have got them, they'll all agree and tell you, a great plane. If you haven't got one, they've got them out on special at the moment, everywhere, all around the world, I believe. So uh, well worth investing in one of these and giving them a fly, they are a great plane. Anyway, as said, if you're a novice, you will not want to fly the SBAC 342 unless you can at least fly one of these really well without crashing. Just the same, when you get a transmitter for this, you will not want to fly an SBAC or any of these other planes with anything less than a DX6i. I've got the DX7, a lot of people are upgrading to the DX8. There's a new DX7S coming out real soon. So there'll be lots of DX6Is and uh, DX7s on the market, I'd say. So cheaper entry, you're, you're much better off for flying any of your planes. Get one of the better transmitters. Okay, let's get that box open and see what's inside. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. I'm sure now there's only a week or so and these will be in the store. There you go. The SBAC. We'll have a good look at it in a minute. We'll just see what else came in the box first. You get the usual charger with your battery leads. Most of us these days don't use these. We've got our own. You get a 180 milliamp hour battery. And what I did so that I could charge that battery properly is I bought this connector, which you can get from your local hobby store. And uh, it enables you to plug it into your own battery charger. And you've got the balance plug and the battery plug. So you can plug the battery in and balance your battery up and get a really good charge. Also in the box, 
you get the side generators. The side force generators. A couple of extra battery tabs. You get two really big side force generators and two small side force generators. Uh, they really affect the way the rudder acts, so I've read. I've never flown one of these planes before, so it's going to be really good. Can't wait to get out and have a go. And the costs, the old manual's on the bottom of the foam box. Don't forget to read it. It has some valuable information in it. Okay, time to have a close-up look at it. See in there, you can see the servo at the back, there's the board. Servo at the front. You'll notice on these that the servo on the wing is sunk in, so it doesn't stick out as much. Which is a great idea I reckon. Wires go across well hinged that hour on we've got a big air hole there so that the air that goes in through there goes over everything your battery esque and can come out there so you're getting a fair fair airflow there the servo. I don't think you're going to have any trouble. You're going to leave these wheels on. You're not going to take them off. I don't think you have any trouble with them servos. Okay, let's have a look in the front here now. It's got the usual hatch magnetic that just pulls off. Now, There you can see it's the 180 2500 kV brushless motor. Looks quite nice. There's where the battery goes. Let's just move that prop out of the way. That battery cable, the motor cable, and the battery. There, you've got quite a generous amount of room in there. And, uh, also, you've got this space across here. Some people on RC groups have already said they might try the bigger battery in there, but I don't know whether your centre of gravity will be right having it there, but the option's there. It does fit. The battery will fit in there. And there's the E-Flight fitted as far forward as it will go. Also, for my beast, I bought the a cable that enables you to put two 1S batteries together and connect to the brushless motor to give you the 2S that you need so you can use your own cells. Uh, these just fit into the uh, s bat so you can use that if you have got that from your uh, beast. Okay, now it's time to buy. Now I've set up my uh, DR and Expo uh, in a new slot for the s back and we all know how to bind, so let's just get this one together. Plug in. Wait for the beeps and the light is flashing inside as you can see. Hold your bind button on and turn on. Give it a tick and there we are. All bound. Okay, 
Okay. Let's see what this motor sounds like. Again, this one has been run before because it's the demo model. So let's give her a... Very smooth, like brushless R. Oh, feel that power. That's half power. Can you for a little bit? Oh, I can see this thing's going to be very fast. There it is flat out, and I can tell you this wants to jump out of my hand. That is very fast. Listen how smooth it is. is all I can say for that. As said, it came with side force generators. I've put them on to give you a look. There's how they'll be on it. And uh, it allows you to do a lot more maneuvers. You get a lot more rudder control. And I think knife edges were gonna be easy. This is going to be a fun plane. I, I can't wait until I get my own one of these because this is definitely coming in my collection. But lucky me, I'm going to get to fly this one. At the moment, the weather's absolutely terrible, so I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to get to fly it. If I have to, I'll release this unboxing video without the Maiden on it, and I'll put a Maiden video up later. But uh, hopefully I'll get out and we'll be able to get the Maiden flight of it and you'll see exactly how she flies from an amateur's point of view. Not one of them guys from Horizon who could, uh, well, let's face it, he could fly anything. They are really good pilots, them guys. Uh, I'm just an average pilot. We'll see what I can do. Okay. This is going to be a really good seller. I can see that. Get your pre-orders in. And on that, again, I'd just like to thank uh, Mike O'Reilly from OMP, O'Reilly Model Products, they're the importers of Horizon gear here in Australia and uh, he generously loaned me this plane to do this review for you and, and uh, I'd like to just thank him because without Mike's generosity I wouldn't be able to bring you these great reviews. Now on that subject I also know a lot of you all around the world now, you hone in on the Model Flight website. Well how about going to the uh, Model Fly Facebook page. I'll put the address up down the bottom of the page here. And uh, hey, go on there and leave, leave a little comment. If you enjoy these segments I do, let them know at Model Fly. And you never know, I might be able to get a few more of these models early and bring reviews to you so you guys can see from our perspective exactly what they look like. Not the Horizon ones showing you, although they're great videos and everything, and they do tell you everything. At least here you can see it from just somebody who sits at home and enjoys their planes and gets into it. Okay, well that's about it for this review, so sit tight. I'm sure they'll be out soon, because uh, I'm only allowed to put these videos up when they're just about to come out, so good luck guys. Happy flying. I know I'm going to really enjoy it. The E-Flight SBAT 342. Can't wait until you get your hands on it, I bet. Okay guys, see you later.